We're in Word 2019. This is lesson four. We're going to be doing working with columns. So in this activity, what you're going to see is we have a document here. Um, if your formatting marks are on because uh, you just came in from that last lesson, you can go ahead and turn those off. We don't need them right now. This is a little bit of a longer activity. And it can be a little bit challenging um, to understand what, how to do all of these different things. So first of all, with the trade show brochure open, we're going to click um, in the layout tab and we're going to change our orientation to landscape. There we go. So it's a wider side to side. At the top of the document, we're going to type what's coming up at Tolano. Now, a lot of my students say, well, I don't understand when it says at the top of the document. So what it's looking for is that you're just putting your cursor right at the very beginning point. So since we can't put it above here unless we go into our header, I'm just going to put it right here at the beginning of the word new. And I'm going to type what's coming up at Tolano and question mark and then hit enter. And you're going to see it's, it kept the same formatting that new to our offering had, and that's just fine. We're going to click in the layout tab and we're going to apply two columns to this whole document. So I'm going to zoom out first of all so you can see my whole document. Um, I want to make sure I don't have any text selected, but my cursor can be anywhere in the, in the text. I just want to make sure I didn't have anything selected. So in the layout, tab in the page setup group, we're going to click on the columns drop down and select two. So what you're going to see is that now it's put all of my text into two separate columns, right? kind of like a newspaper or a magazine. Now I want to make sure that my title goes across the top of the page and isn't in these columns here. So what I need to do, I need to click and drag to select just the title. I'm going to go up to that columns icon and select one. What you're going to see is that the second column kind of dropped down a little bit and it's hard to tell right now that this is in its own column because it's such a small amount of text, um, but we're going to center it here in a second. So I'm going to mark as answered. I'm going to go to step two. So making sure that we still have that text selected, I'm going to go to the home tab. And in our styles group, we're going to select heading one. If you don't see it in your um, little gallery view here, click on the more button and then you can find it there. So there's heading one. I'm going to click on that. And then I want to increase my font size. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to use the little drop down arrow next to the size. Select 18. And then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut to center my title. So I'm going to press and hold control and tap the letter E as an elephant. Now you can tell more that that's in its own column. Because of the way that um, the text is, you can see that it's really sitting right on top of the text below it. I want to change that a little bit. So I'm going to make sure this is still selected. And I'm going to change my spacing um, by going to the layout tab and going to the paragraph group. So here I have spacing options for before and after my text. What that means is, so you can see where the area of um, selection is and how there's so much space above, that's because the before spacing is 24 points and below there's not that same amount of space um, because our after is at zero. We're actually going to change the spacing before to zero points. So I'm going to use my little down increment and I'm going to take that all the way down to zero. And so now you can see here in that selection how much um, that eliminated that space. Now I want to change the after to 12. So our increments go in sixes. So if I click it twice, so the first one is six, click it twice for 12. Now I have a little more space at the bottom here and that's going to make my document just look so much nicer. 
right? So if I zoom out, it doesn't look like my title is sitting right on top of my text. So I'm going to click Mark as answered and go to step three. So you can see how this is looking. We have a lot of space on the edges because we are set with normal margins. So I think we want to change those margins to narrow. So make sure you're on the layout tab and in the page setup group, go ahead and click on margins and select narrow. Now you can see that our text is filling up the page a little bit better. It doesn't look like it changed my margin up here. It looks like it only changed it on the sides. So we're going to see what happened by going to the Home tab and clicking on our formatting marks. So because up here, let's see, when we zoom in, you're going to see I have a, a continuous section break here. What that does is it changes your ability to uh, format the whole document at the same time. So when you have those section breaks in it, it lets you um, format just one section instead of formatting the whole document. But we can change that. So I'm going to mark this number three as answer. Go to step number four. And we're going to go back to the layout tab. And in the page setup group, I'm going to click on the page setup dialog box launcher, which is this guy right here. That's going to open up this dialog box for me. And you should see you're on the margins section. Right, so um, right now it says I have narrow margins applied to whatever section I'm in. Because if I go down to the bottom, it says apply to selected sections. I actually want to change that to whole document. But when I do that, you're going to see that now my margins have cleared out. So it's not giving me um, the margins that I had before. So I have to go back through and set those. And I just want to set them each to 0.5. And I'm just clicking the little up arrow for each one of those right there. Once you've done that, go ahead and click OK. And now you should see when you zoom out, now that looks better. There we have a narrow margin. I'm going to go back to the Home tab and turn off my formatting marks because I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to mark that as answered and go to step five. So for step five, right now we have two columns, but I actually want to make it into three. Um, but this section up here, this is one column. Down below is two columns. So I want to make sure that I'm clicking somewhere in the two column text before I decide to change it to three. Otherwise, if I click, a, if I have my cursors up here and I click three column text, it's not gonna change anything because I don't have enough text up there. So I'm clicking somewhere down here, going to my layout tab, page setup group, columns, and changing it to three. All right, now, now we're looking a little more like an article. I'm still on two pages but I've got three columns of text happening up here. And you can see it's changed kind of how everything has flowed. Um, there's probably a lot we could do to this document to uh, adjust how the text looks and the spacing and things like that, but we're not gonna get into that right now. We're gonna worry more about doing a column break. So you can see right here, um, I have new to our offering and I have this section right here. My second column starts with what happening my third column has some information about presentations. And actually what I'd like is to have this start at the top of this column over here. So I'm gonna put my cursor right here at the beginning of our presentations. Now we're gonna use the page break um, shortcut. So control, enter, press and hold control, tap the enter key, just to show you what that looks like, right? So if I use a page break, it would move my whole column down onto the next page. I'm not going to keep it like that. So up here on my quick access toolbar, I'm going to click undo. My cursor is still in the same spot because what I'm trying to do is move this text to the top of this column. So the keyboard shortcut for a column break is to press and hold control, press and hold shift, and then tap the enter key. So control shift enter. 
that will give me a column break. So now that text will start at the beginning of the next column. And that's going to make a little more sense for the text that's in this document. So mark five is answered and actually we did step six as well. So we'll mark that as answered. The last step, we're going to change um, the spacing in between our columns here and add some lines just to break it up a little bit and make it a little easier on the eye. So if you scroll down in your instruction panel, you can actually click on the sample to show you what this is going to look like. All right, so with our cursor, we're going to put it anywhere over here in the new tour offering section. So it doesn't matter anywhere in that column is fine. I'm going to go to the layout tab, to the columns drop down, and this time I'm going to select more columns. This is going to open a dialog box for me, and it's going to allow me to do a couple of different things. First of all, I want to click um, check this box for line between, and you can see in the preview pane here, it now shows there's a little line between those columns. Let me click it off, click it back on so you can see. And then over here we have width and spacing. So my cursor was just in column one, so it's only showing me column one. But I can change that spacing. I'm gonna click my down increment arrow, arrow twice to change it to 0.3. But you can see it's changed the width of each one of my columns, which is perfect, that's what I want. And then I'm gonna click okay. And now you're gonna see there's a little less space in between the columns here and I have a line between them and it just looks a lot nicer. So I'm going to click mark as answer and submit. 